Today, we are building a speaker box. And it's already done, it's right there. But we are going to show you everything we do to make a speaker box for a SCAR subwoofer. It is loud. So, he it cracks. rattles my dishes. It rattles the whole kitchen. I'm not really sure why we did this, but, <laughs> you know. And boys, okay. I'm guessing that's, I'm just going to put it under check, boys. <laughs> well, I, when I was younger, I had big stereos in my trucks and cars. And I think it's a boy thing. Well, I have two boys, so I know. And I have a husband. It's, yeah. it's boys. Well, I, I've toned down. I promise. I have toned down. Really, I have. But y'all stay tuned, and we'll get into this, and we'll show you how we made this box and how it sounds and the specs behind this box. This is our current Jeep configuration. This box is way too thin. So we're going to beef this up a bit. We're still going to use plywood because it is exposed to elements occasionally. But here is our ports and these run through the seat and that we're getting some air noise on them for swishing and our SCAR subwoofer. But this box isn't vibrating that much, so it's not flexing that much, but we did reinforce the back wall with this, even though it's braced inside. Here is the piece of plywood we're going to use. This was actually used in our, when we bought our boat, they laid this in the floor because they had a rotten floor and they didn't want to fix it. So this was laid over the top of it to make more rot. And then here is the boat we pulled that out and put a new floor in. You gotta clean this up still. But we did a whole restore on this boat. And uh, we still have some things left, but we've already had this out on the water. It did really well. Kinda dirty inside right now. Okay, we've been trying to figure out how we wanna do the ports. We have this back here to contend with, and we have this latch here to contend with. But we think we want to run the ports to the side. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them far enough back here. I think I may on both sides in the corners. But we have this right here, which is problematic. So we may have to do some custom uh, cuts for the speaker box to get in there. But I think that's how we're going to run the ports. I think that would be good. Okay, this is our old box taken apart with the speaker out. You see they have these braces here to help support, which it still vibrates. And this is how long our ports were. Two of them. We, we did two because uh, uh, air with the high excursion subwoofer like this, it makes a, a lot of uh, wind noise. Never mind. I can do it in an easy way. Mm-hmm. Figuring it out, aren't you, Brian? Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how I do it. I slide it along. So, we got all our wood cut. I'm sorry I messed this. This was a challenge, because this wood is not the best. So, we got some special screws that we're going to use to hopefully pull this up so this box doesn't leak. But we got all the corners cut here. And then we got... A special top cut for the Jeep. Let's show, let's show that. So here is our special top for the Jeep. This is going to go all the way to the top. And these little areas we cut out here are going to cover this. Hold on. 
own shirt. I will wash out. Right, your girl now. Wrong angle. Wow, now! Yeah, your girl now, bad angle. Alright, pull that, pull that hole in. Okay, your girl load is at the bad angle. Okay, so we got the wood together. It was really warped, a lot of work, but we now we're gonna have to do some sealing on this and stuff. And I think we can make it with uh, work with that scar. Okay, we're gonna put each port pointing to the side. These were going through the seat on the old box. And over here, I started our line where the port's gonna be. Okay, we'll continue to trace it and then we're gonna jig it out. Now our speaker is gonna go as far to the bottom as we can put it. That way, hopefully, it won't be in the way of the ports. Okay, so I drew, drew the holes, and now I drilled it. Let's see if I can cut it. So that's a good sign. I can just take and just sand it some bit. No. What are you gonna do? I don't want to. No. Don't do that. No. I, saw oh, I already it. know what you're gonna do. I got, I, I got a video. I want Give me you. my video. Yeah. And okay. It, and it makes this whole. Oh. Okay, guys. Little trick to get your uh, speaker hole cut. Take a board, measure out to half the diameter, drill a hole for a pencil, a uh, screw hole, and then try to draw a straight line. All the way around. Now my hole is a little bit big, so I'm having to hold the pencil in place. There we go. Let's see if that works and then measure it to make sure it's the right diameter. And for jigging, I'm actually using a metal blade, not a wood blade. A wood blade would splinter the wood, and that could be problematic. So, metal blade to jig out the, the wood. This scar speaker is huge. Oh yeah. Bits. Now we gotta take it out. Uh, these posts stick out really far though on the scar. So we're gonna drill a hole right here, and this is our speaker wire. There we go. And we'll add silicone on this. Okay, so now we're going to heat shrink the connection so they don't come out. They're down there. So if you look at the texture of this paint, it's turning out really good. It's going to really stand out in the Jeep. We're using a kind of a, just a perforated brush, a roller, that we used on the Kiwi Grip. And it's giving it a really rough texture. And we're laying this on thick. Now this paint takes, this is just exterior paint. There we go. That's enough paint for now. I have a lot of paint. And we're putting our ceiling on. So, this thing doesn't uh, leak air. And you can just tear this stuff off, but this is just standard weather stripping. We're okay, so we're going to wire up this. We're wiring this in a um, series, not parallel. 
and uh, we'll take the we have a jumper cable here going from positive to negative and then we have to drill and bearing screws. Does that look good? Yeah, right, right, right there. We're there. I'm drilling the speakers. I always use my hand to protect the uh, surround. Adds a little pain. Okay, Brian's putting his speaker box in the Jeep. What? Since I didn't unlatch it. Is that light? That's the quick connect we put on. Hopefully it does wondrous things. There's some base flex. This is 200 watts on a 10 inch sub. 10 hertz. The box needs to be bolted down. It's moving back and forth. Okay, now I'm really shaking. Let me take my hand off here. The camera's shaking. Oh, wow. 40 hertz. 50 hertz. 60 hertz. 70 hertz. Wow, 70 hertz really hits it. 80 hertz. And so this box is tuned about from 30 to 80 hertz, 90 hertz it starts coming not down. And then 100 hertz, it goes even further down. Okay, we'll stop it there. Ow. Okay, the dimensions of this box. To the top wood, it's about 16 inches tall. Across is about 30 inches. Depth of the box is 9 inches. The ports on it, which are right up in here, this port on both sides, are 20 inches. Okay, guys, so the box turned out really good. It actually, you know, sounds really good. The dimensions on this box is, it's a little over 2 cubic foot for the ports of this box. It is loud. Mm. It uh, it shakes every my project. shakes everything in the jeep. Shakes all the dishes in the kitchen. Um, she says this cannot stay on while it's in the garage. No, it is too just loud. like the muffler that we installed. I have him back out because then it just vibrates the entire house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we did. Uh, we did a muffler install on this, and that—that's actually a really good muffler. I like the sound of it, but it is loud. It's a two-stage. Everything. How much loudness do we need? Good Lord. We, we're boys. We're boys. We like loud toys. Mm. So yeah, it all turned out good, and uh, the texture of this box really rough. So, guys, that saying, is because of the roller I told them to use. Mm -hmm. It's the roller that we use in the boat to get the texture. And they use plain outdoor house paint on this. Same paint we used on our house door. Right. It's our house door paint. And um yeah, the texture with that it's just a roller and it just it's really, really rough. Makes it kind of look like bed liner. Yeah. But it's not. I couldn't believe it. Just a roller. 99 cents. But uh, guys, hopefully you liked this video and it was helpful and you liked the boom. Um, also, if you're looking for great food, good recipes, check out our blog. This girl can cook. Well, that's the only reason why um, they get me food because they get stuff done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating my tail off. It's hot in this garage. <laughs> Have the garage door closed. No fans on. It's hot. <laughs> but but. <laughs> check out that blog. Get, cook you some good eats. And uh, 
when you're taking your video, roll out the garage, crank on the AC, do it cool. Well, there's mosquitoes. Yes, we're in Florida. And uh, y'all please take care.